Hey. There it is. Something happened there. Don't worry. <laughs> we made Something it. Something weird. Something uh, that never happened before. So we're back. We are back again. Um, well, how's everything, Aaron? How's everything? How's with your uh, how's it, uh, summer here in Orlando? It's pretty hot right now. I mean, so it's always hot, but uh, I'm going on vacation next week, so it's all good. Oh, cool. Where are you, where are you going on vacation next week? Yeah, I'm going back yeah. to, um, I'm originally from Illinois, so I'm going to fly into St. Louis, go see a nice. Cardinal game, and then uh, hang out with family the rest of the week while I'm up there in, in Illinois. That's awesome. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Nothing like your vacation. You just got ah. back there, no. No, I was in uh, San Juan in Puerto Rico for like a week, too. Was, uh, actually, it was outside of San Juan, but um, yeah, it was a great vacation. I was able to talk to some families and family members, uncles, uh, my mom, my dad, uh, friends over there. So it was good. It was good. I really needed a vacation, so that was a very good vacation. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. Did you have some yeah. good plantains? Yes, good plantains. A lot of, I ate a lot of. I actually got a. I ate um, a live lobster. Like a, you know, we, we were able to pick up a live lobster, and they cook it for us. Live lobster, uh, just, a lot of coconuts. Uh, that's fresh. Yeah, fresh uh, coconuts, and we went to the rainforest. Uh, we went to the some of the uh, nice uh, area there. They have a lot of like horses, like wild horses. Uh, uh, everything you can imagine it was it was uh it was fun it was fun it's yeah, been a yeah. long time that i wasn't in some of those areas since I, I went to some of them when i was a kid so it was cool it was yeah you uh i didn't tell you this yet you know we'll have to talk after a, after this that uh, my wife and i planned a trip down in september to puerto rico yeah i'll uh, redo our honeymoon and uh and uh, do some zip lining and some snorkeling and stuff so i gotta get uh, some tips and trips from you yes before, before that the that there is a lot of new things that they have done after the hurricane and honestly it, everything looks really good like i think this time it really looks like they finally uh rebuild most of the things so i think it's a good time to go i mean there were a lot of tourists uh the the, the, the everything was packed right every area like tourist area the airport uh san juan was packed i mean every single day it was packed so I think a lot of people are going back and then it's good. It's good. It's really good. It's a good time to go. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get, let's get started. Yeah. Let's get started. So, so today was going to be like more random business. I, I, I picked some that are like related to what's going on in the market. What's going on online. I mean, new, new news and stuff like that. So, uh, you want me to show you one that I have and you yeah. can show me one. Yeah, let's go back and forth because I got a, I got a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you mine. It's not. Uh, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about. Let me, let me, let me share my screen. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, share screen. Okay, now, now it's working. So this is. Whoa, I don't know what's doing that. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, that's strange. Okay, let me see. I don't know why it's doing that, to be honest. Okay. I have no idea what's doing that. That's very weird. Oh, something with my maybe my laptop. Oh, well, I can we I can see it. It's you can see flashing it? at the top, but it's fine. So this is median rent by county. Uh, I thought that this was an amazing. Uh, let, let me get you the link. Amazing, yes, link. amazing uh, biz. Uh, this is. I heard that it was done by Kevin Furlich, uh, the one of the twin brothers. I, I actually text. Kevin today, uh, and I told him that I really like this biz. Um, I went in to find this biz because there is, you know, all this talk, you know, about rentals right now, everywhere. I mean, you turn the TV. I mean, I was yesterday in the morning, 
Uh, I was look, uh, watching uh, the news, uh, the uh, morning news, and they were talking about rents here in Orlando are out of this world. I mean, make no sense anymore. We, I think we're we're living in, in California now, and um, you know all of these things happen with rents. And this is being very nice to look at this dashboard. Uh, it's updated uh, very recently. I think a couple of weeks. Uh, I think oh yeah, June eight. So it was updated in June eight. And it's amazing how this thing works. I mean, you can actually go here, for example, if I go here to Seminole County or like if I go to like um, we're in Orange County. So right there is Orange County. And this is for a four bedroom, four bedroom uh, apartment or place, right, that you rent. And you can select even the uh, bedroom here, which is I was very impressed with this. You can yeah, even select the bedroom. Why it was so why it was so high and yeah, it's that four bedroom. So I dropped it down to like one. Okay. And it does bring that the price way down, obviously, because it's it's just a one yeah. bedroom. But there's so I you see can some... go here. Yeah, you can go here, but it's still, you know, Orlando, you can see it's still it's a little bit dark there. Uh we have Osceola County, and that's where uh, Disney and Orlando. I really think it's even higher than this. This is probably the average. But honestly, it depends on where you are. I mean, this could be uh, so much higher. So I am very close to uh, Universal Studios and um, International Drive. This is like honestly one uh, like three hundred dollars more for one bedroom. So it's crazy, and I really like how this on the right. Look at that on the right. So tell me a little bit what you like, and, and see. We I can tell you what I like. Well, I'm trying to. Look at um, it says in the upper right hand compare yours. Mm -hmm. So I'm 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 looking at them because so I'm going to select my county and see what it looks like. Yeah, I'll, let me do that. I'll I'll look at your county. Let me. I'm, I'm going to click on it. Tell tell me what's your county. Oh well, actually, I can put it here. Yeah, it says so. These aren't averages. This is the median. So it says the median rent for that this four bedroom is uh, twenty three seventy nine. So you want me to look for Orange County? Is that you're in Orange County too, right? Yeah. 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 So if we can go to Orange County, that's the same one that I am. Orange County, Orlando. I mean, this is awesome, right? That they have this availability, this air thing that you can even open this here and and see your county, and you can make it uh, your own, and you can see it there, right? It's very nice. Oh yeah, it's got that ranking, and the percentile. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's like this. This is another visual inside of the the bigger map visual but it's not always displayed cluttering mm -hmm. up the place it's got that hidden table mm -hmm. that's that's real nice it's really nice yeah i really like that too what else what else do you think uh let me and then if you click I, here on hide i want to hide uh doom is done it's gone I like when you hover on one of those histogram bars. Mm -hmm. It shows you on the map where that where those are. So if I go here, oh wow, okay, gotcha. I didn't know that. You know what I noticed? I noticed this. So when you when you hover on Orange County, for example, Orange County, you oh. see how it, it highlights on the one on the right too. It, it does those it the other way, way. Yeah, the other way, both ways. So that's something that I want to learn. I'm gonna to have to ask. Kevin, how he did that. <laughs> I think it maybe is with uh, some parameter actions or uh, I, I don't know, set actions, but um, not sure. So, yeah, out there, I like, out, out, I out like there. this. And it's also, um, you know, this is like a heat map. So it's got the those heat colors. And mm -hmm. you could see immediately where the, where the high points are. Mm -hmm. You got all, all that out in California. Um, surprisingly all that all that area there in colorado in, in the middle of the mm -hmm. country that's that was surprising too exactly and and if you look at this i mean we can go and say okay what the hell one bedroom one bedroom 2750 so what is that at let's see let's see let me see if that that highlights that california yeah marion county california you will need three thousand dollars for one bedroom <laughs> crazy it's crazy yeah, so i'm gonna do those, like two. all of those high ones up to that five the count of five uh -huh. all of those are in california so is there more here i don't think there's anything here right is there anything there no because it says zero yeah 
But what about this two bedroom? Right? I want to see two. Okay, let's say two bedroom. Two bedroom. See if we can get something in here. Probably not, but probably it's in the same place. Yeah, Mar Marin County. I don't want to leave there. <laughs> so sure, it's nice, but it's insane. I mean, it's so expensive. It's cheaper in Hawaii. Yeah, so if I go here, three bedrooms, the same place again. I want to see where, okay, let me see, 4,000, the Santa Cruz, still California, right? Um, oh, look at that, in Hawaii, right there, 3,500. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so nice how you can, I mean, this, this map, it's just amazing. I mean, really, I really like it. I I'll mean, say one, I will do, it's just a good map. It's just a so great One map. thing I would do differently is mm -hmm. giving people the, op the opportunity to um, zoom down to their state. Mm. Like if I could, if I could just look at Florida, because that's where I live. That's, I want to know, like, if I, I got to move somewhere, where's, where's it cheaper to move to? It, it'd be easier if you could just zoom to that state rather than having to look at the entire map. Can we do it? No. Right. It didn't work. Right. I don't think so. And you can't download it, so I, I can't even like see if that would work. Sure, it would. So what you're saying is that would be nice. We can talk to Kevin and see what he thinks. Uh, so if we can go here, let's see. I don't. I don't think no. Hmm. Well, actually, did it change just to this map? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So like I'm from a very small county in in Illinois, and I'm like I'm I'm just hovering just a little bit at a time trying to find it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but even yeah, I know where it's at on a map, but I can't find it in this map. Got it. So you say maybe another drop down that will just let you see your state, or just the giving you those map controls where you could like just click and drag and mm -hmm. go to zoom in on wherever whatever you want to look at. Like I'd be interested to look at that California section. And see what are those big states i'm sorry those big cities that are in those areas to see like oh that's san francisco or oh mm -hmm. that's la that's why <clears throat> makes sense so like oh, it's, it's it's still good though I, I still like that drop down uh grid uh it's where you, you can compare yourself that's great yeah this is like a marginal histogram right this one on the right like a marginal histogram i like it a lot I mean, it's, it's really nice. You can see how I just did that. So look in Miami, Miami, uh, half, you know, it's a couple there for here for, uh, this is probably Miami, Palm Beach, uh, Miami, Brevard, Monroe. I mean, incredible, right? Yeah. How expensive is that? I mean, that's unbelievable. It's, and then of course this have to be New York, let's see, uh, Massachusetts. And this Medicaid. is just this is just rent for four bedroom. This isn't like if you own a house that's got four bedrooms, you know, what's your mortgage? <laughs> it's like yes. you're just renting it at that, that price. It's crazy. Um, this is the one that you were saying about a uh, Colorado. Yeah, that, that really surprised me too. I never been there. Um, I didn't know that it was so expensive, to be honest with you. I yeah. didn't I have no idea. Yeah, that was a little bit wow. So that's what happened. You know, most of these people are probably from here and here and on Florida are moving. I'm sorry, from these other areas are moving back into Florida or Texas. That's what I'm thinking. You know, a lot of people moving to Texas. I was looking for Austin. That's what I wanted to see. How was Austin? I like Austin, Texas a lot. So I wanted to see like what you said. It makes sense, right? If I could look for uh, my state or. Or that. Well, what if you go to the compare yours and you look for the one that you were looking here? Maybe you can find it here, right? The one that you were talking about in Illinois. Can you find it here? Let's see. What was the name? Peoria. Yeah, it's it's listed there. It just doesn't highlight it on the map. Oh, okay. And like, if I wanted to see. In Peoria, the counties around it. Like, if I'm going to move to Central Illinois, what where's the cheapest and more expensive places to Got go? It. I I can't do that unless I have that map to look at. Very good. Okay. It's only Perfect. 1,200. It's a, it's less than 1,200 dollars. Mm. Got some. For how many bedrooms? Four. Wow. I've got some good deals out there. 
that's a good deal because right now it's uh, in here in Orlando. What is it? Let me say four. Let's go to Orange County. I'm gonna put on uh, four, and then we're gonna go back to let's let's wait one second. Let's go back to Orange County, Volusia. Wait. It's uh, twelve hundred dollars more. Okay, so if I go to Orange, <coughs> well, Orange County, which is just right here with us, twenty-three. Orange County, oh, the same thing, almost the same, twenty-four hundred. Wow, that's like a thousand. You're gonna save like a thousand dollars, something yeah. like that. It's it's funner yeah. in, in Orlando though. So uh, yeah, <laughs> there's some trade offs. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one away. Show me one of yours, and we can. I'll I'll show you one later or another one. All right. Yeah. Let me let me take the stop. This one. Stop sharing. Yeah. I'll share the link. All right, so the my background picture. Do you know what state that is? Mm, no. Let me uh, share my screen. I have no idea. It's New Jersey. Okay, New Jersey. Yeah, the reason I picked New Jersey is because today is National New Jersey Day. Okay. Recognizing the third state to join the union. Ooh, pizza. I really like pizza from them. New Jersey is really good. It's usually really good. So this one's um, it's a little outdated. It's last updated in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like it's data from 2013. Mm -hmm. But And the colors are hard to look at. Uh, but what I, what I did appreciate here is they took and this was you know seven years ago they they got out of powerpoint and used this instead so they, they're using this mm. story feature to yeah. tell the story to show those insights give you a block mm. of text here's what's going on um, and then you can look at a map and hover and see the, that kind of information and that kind of data and they've got that for mm. each each one of these so i uh, I, I just wanted to highlight the that functionality is is still a good use to, uh, yes. back then still still is a good use today. I've seen a couple of people trying to uh, integrate um, Tableau inside of PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of hacks I've tried it. I haven't had any success. Um, but you know, in, in general, if you could just go to this site and sh and show that, that's that's a little easier to to present with and trying to find a way to embed it inside of PowerPoint uh, because it, yeah. it, this interactive dashboard is not a, a static image like a, a PowerPoint is. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, you're, you're in a meeting and someone sees this red section down here. And if it's just a picture, Hey, what does that yeah. mean? What, what, what's going on in the, in the Atlantic? Uh, well, it's a static picture, sir. I don't know what that means. So I'll get back to you when I find out what's going on. Or if you have it in an interactive dashboard, you can you can hover on things and you can have those insights and you can drill and filter and get answers immediately rather than just giving you a high level. Here's what's going on. And then if anybody has questions, you're out of luck. So you have to come back to them later. So I, I like the idea of using Tableau stories as a presentation material rather than just, uh, you know, fun, fun graphs to look at. I mean, I agree. I, I, I like to use it. I mean, I don't know why P, uh, Tableau doesn't promote that more. They should. Um, maybe they have not improved it in a while. Maybe that's one of the reasons. But still, it's a good way, like you said, to do presentations because <coughs> they just great, work great. You can, you can, so you can add here just one chart or a full dashboard, right? So you can add either or. Yeah, like so, this is I two mean, sheets. Yeah, you can add cheats. You can add uh, one full dashboard. You can, I mean, do many things with this. So this is very, very good. And, and I know with some of the advanced um, Tableau features these days, mm -hmm. which I have not had the opportunity to get into, these insights that are listed here can auto-populate so you don't even have to write them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And if when you, yeah, exactly. When you have to refresh or anything, it will be there. 
So if you're doing a presentation, I know how many people in marketing are doing, you know, presentations every week. Uh, they have to present a deck. They have to present something every week. With this, they can actually um, have something that it will refresh. They don't have to do anything again. They don't have to bring all that data or redo it. They only have to go in there and present it, right? Yep. So much better. I mean, you save a lot of time here. Yeah. And you can actually annotate things because I noticed the other day I was playing with this for uh, for a class and I was I looked at you can actually in Tableau now provide annotations to only this part, right? To only this piece, you can do annotations to it. So this annotation will be here, not in your uh, cheats. So you can even do that. You can even provide more insights. Yep. This is a good one. All right, I got a couple more. You going to keep going? Yeah, go ahead. You, you got something? Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, that's all I got for New Jersey. Uh, I, I found some other like kind of cool ones. Uh, this was a visit of the day. Mm. So we, you know, we've seen that uh, U.S. map as a hex bin in that mm -hmm. shape, that honeycomb shape. Th uh -huh. This is very similar, but it's for the world. Oh. It's a it's a little tough to figure out where the U.S. is here. Wow. It's right here. So you got Canada and the U.S. up here, Mexico. So this is like the northern hemisphere. Here's the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. but yeah, here, here you can see those labels. I didn't even see them. This, oh, you know, okay, this, I see, this I see kinda, now. This kind of looks like uh, uh, South America. You can kind of see where Africa is, where Asia is. Uh, but it's just so we're looking at uh, countries that drive on the right or the left. They talk about. Uh, I've never seen something like this. This is very right? good. Right. Uh, it, I thought it was an, an interesting, different way to kind of do that. Um, so it says, I you know, like 76 it. countries driving the left hand. And most of them were like British colonies at one point. Where did I read that? Yeah. The Very Caribbean, nice. Southern Asia and Oce Oceania have the highest proportion of countries with left hand traffic. Do, um, do you know what another way you could do? I mean, it's awesome. You know, no, no doubt. It's perfect. But another way will be if you put. The, on the left, the ones on the left, the right, the ones on the right, and I don't know, maybe something like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but mm -hmm. if you could separate it, one to the left, one to the right of your screen, and then you can see that. That's really cool. And I like that. Uh, so you, when you even when you hover on these these bars down here, it it lights up exactly where they're at on that. So if mm, okay. I'm interested in Eastern Asia. Well, on this map. You know where is that? You don't quite know, but if you can find it here and hover on it, then you you can know exactly where to look. Like, oh, there's Japan. You know, okay, you know yeah, what I like cool. about it? It's just so simple. I mean, it's a simple uh, base, right? I um, mean, not, not that simple to create, but what I mean is simple to look at, and it's so effective, so good. You don't have a lot of stuff. Perfect, the perfect title here. I'm even good um, with the colors. Yeah, I love the color. The, the, you know, the right and the left. It's so easy to, to understand. It's just great. So you don't have to do something insane or crazy or complicated. And still, this is great. I mean, it just works. I think perhaps I'd like maybe a a single number, a single, uh, you know, band. Just, you know, the, mm -hmm. these, these are the number of countries. This is how many are on the left yeah, hand. Yeah, that, 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 that is. That will be something that, Just, yes, exactly, because you want that to pop or you can see it somewhere, at least those yeah. two big numbers, because I have to read it and it's just very small. It's yeah, very, it, very small. Yeah, if it was just like, it's just one, you could just have one number up there, you know, and mm -hmm. keep it pretty simple, because that's all they're, they're trying to look at is which companies yeah. are on the left and the right. So that's just mm -hmm. a simple, like, one number, basically. Yeah, and you can uh, have the number on your right, right, 163, and on your left, the 76. Something like that. Yeah, in those same green and purple colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yeah. blue and the... Uh -huh. um, it's great. So what it's... Okay, U.S. conversion. Yeah, I think the only thing is that chart on the... on the uh, That chart... It's a little yes, exactly. On the, on the title, they switch, they will switch the order to the left and to the right. That's correct. Because I have oh, gains here. That, that's a good point. Yeah. This This is right... And you'd figure that these two would be, because right now it's on the left. This is the it's left the of left. these two. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. It should be on the right, on the left. 
Yeah, it should be. Uh, you can switch. I think you can switch that, can't you? Just reverse that. Yeah, axis. you can search. You can search it. It's yeah. very easy. Yeah, just do mm -hmm. it uh, the the other way. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking when I was looking at it. That's what I was telling you. Like, I I like the idea of having all of these countries and like this is the map of the world. But it will be nice also to have all the ones on the left and then all the ones to the right, all the countries to the left, all the countries, whatever countries are to the right. Um. The same thing with the title, the countries that drive on the right. So the actual title have to be, I, I will change left and yeah. right. No. Good point. Good point. That could be a nice, a nice idea. Um, but it's still cool. It's still great. It's still oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, that, that's a minor detail. The rest is, yeah. is, is a good story. It's a very good story. Very easy to find. Um, so is there any countries close to the U.S. that uh, can you check there that it's uh, on the right? In the Caribbean, actually. Yeah, in the Caribbean. I know. I noticed when I went, well, I mean, this is when I was very little, maybe 12 years old or something. I went to some countries in the Caribbean and they, uh, they're just small islands and they, they were driving on the other side. So probably one of those islands there. Yeah, look, the, the Caribbean this is the purple is the left it's got wow. probably the highest bar wow of, of ones on the left outside of this oceana amazing yeah only three countries that are on the uh, right hand side because hmm. most of them are from uh colonies or things from british right yeah like from uk yeah mm -hmm. very cool something different all right, sure. well, I, I got more. You want to go back to you? Right. you no, no, to... no. Go, go, go. Keep going? Okay, so I, got, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't have anything more on uh, on that. I, I, I like this one. This one's pretty simple. Very You're nice. looking at the original movies versus their remakes. Mm -hmm. So you have this, like, dumbbell chart, which shows you the – in the red is the original, and in the blue mm -hmm. is the remakes. And then you can just see the IMDb rating here on the left-hand side. And then each of the names of the movies down here. At first, it, I was a little confused because it's sorted alphabetically. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me share this viz. All right. But over here on the right hand, it has the sort order, mm -hmm. which perhaps maybe I'd put it over here so it's easier to see. Mm hmm. But you can get some. Right, right now, I don't get much insight out of this. It's kind of, it's kind of like all the place, and I got to look around a lot. Mm -hmm. But this, this sort option is is great. So if you want to look at by original rating, mm -hmm. okay. So this is the red one. So if you can see mm -hmm. on the original, as it goes up, the higher it goes, it goes this way. So this is the best movie. This no, is the I, worst movie. Okay. And then you can see each time the blue goes up or down off of that that kind of that trend line that's going up. You okay. can do the you could do the opposite and do it by the the remake, and mm. here you can see that same that same trend that goes up, and then you can see there were only four, five, six movies that the remake was better than the original, which I didn't wouldn't have known had I not been able to sort that. Mm -mm, no, no. You know what would be cool too, but I don't know if it, this is, makes any sense. Um, if there was some way that you can turn on something that connects the dots. And then shows you like a line. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that will be nice, but I was just thinking about it. Like, imagine like there is a line that connects to turn it on and off. Yeah. That way you know exactly what you're looking at. What you're looking at. Exactly. The last sort order is um, yeah. the difference between the, the two. Difference. So, like, this is a tie. The Karate Kid was a tie. And look how close these bars mm -hmm. are. And then okay, it goes okay, up okay. and up yes, and up yes. and up. And look, this, this was the, the biggest, the Planet of the Apes. The original was way better than the remakes were oh yeah i like that right i so really like that to having that ability to sort by so many things there's insights in all of them except for for me mm. the alphabetical that doesn't give me anything it, it, it's no. it's all over the place it's up and down the colors are changed the bars are wide but mm -hmm. give having that as the default sort and then allowing you to like look at mm -hmm. it in different ways you mm -hmm. can immediately see those insights without having to do much of anything so do you think and now going back to in James, if you're there, let me know what you think. Um, put it there. 
if we look at this, if this was surveys for a company when we were at Universal, imagine that you could see the difference between, okay, what happened six months from now to now, and maybe these are rides on the on the on the on the on the on the theme park, maybe rides, maybe restaurants, whatever it is. You you have some surveys and then you want to compare, okay, this is the rating. Like in this case, I like this difference. Is the rating better now than it was before or yeah. something? Yeah, you could do uh like year over year. You mm -hmm. know, what what was what was it this year? What was it mm -hmm. last year? Like, wow, look how much better we did. Or the reverse, mm -hmm. like, oh man, this this restaurant dune or this ride dune, like it why did it tank so bad? Then you can start looking into those yeah. that are really doing really, really well, and then you can start seeing what they're doing and then look at the ones that are doing really, really bad. And try to apply some of that to to those locations. The other Definitely. way will be also what if if I mean that's perfect. And also I would like to see it just just for curiosity, turn it on the other side, right? Like if maybe it's like this, and then you can see it this way. Instead yep. of being it just depends on what, like what, your, what your screen availability is. Yes, 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 yes. But this is a. Uh, this is a very good um, very, idea. I think. Very simple. They have one filter, mm -hmm. but I got so much out of it using just that one filter. Exactly. I mean, I think. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm, I think it's great. I really. Th I think, it, like you said, with that difference, uh, makes a lot of sense, and uh, you can do so many things with it. I mean, I I like it. I think it's a uh, very good. Um, something different, I don't know, something that um, it makes a lot of uh, a good, like you said, um, <clears throat> I would say like a, like a very good um, use case for many different things, I would say. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's go back over to you. Uh, I got a different topic when we come back, but let's, let's see what you got. Yeah. So I have one that probably you've seen before, if not. It's fine. I was just thinking <laughs> when I was um, in Puerto Rico, I was just looking at things, trying to find um, um, <coughs> places to eat. And this is one that I saw, like diverse diners. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this before. Probably you've been, you've been you've seen it before. I mean, let me get a let me get you the the link. So the link is out there. Okay. Yeah, you should have the link there. So this is called Diverse Diners. And as you can see, uh, you can see the different diners from <clears throat> different cuisines and etc. And so we go to uh, the US and I say 81% of restaurants in the United are from other countries. And if we click on it, Let's see what happened. Just incredible, right? 80%. That's crazy. And then we can see here the uh the different countries. I mean, it just highlights what are those uh countries, which is the funniest thing is Mexican, it's 28%. <laughs> so people really eat, are eating tacos apparently here in the US. What so did Mexican you click on? Cuisine, huh? What did you click on to get that? So I click on US. I wanted to see what are the 81% of country, uh, restaurants in the United States are from other countries. So if you click in one of the one of the bars, it will tell you what is that specific country made of the diversity of their restaurants. So it was so funny that uh, it says apparently most of the restaurants, the 28% of the restaurants are from the uh, Mexican restaurants or like Mexican cuisine. Let's call yeah. it like that. Just incredible. That's, that's number one, yeah. And well, I remember seeing this biz when we were probably in uh, one of the conferences. Probably was this one, 2019. Uh, well, actually, Siren Biz. Probably this is the one that won. Yeah. yeah, it was. But it's just incredible, right? Like I, I wanted to go back to this. is so amazing. Well, click on uh, Mexico. So they went from Mexico. Let's see. Maybe I have it's to in that, it's in that it's in that yellow. So the legend is traditional. 
So the, it's like they only eat Mexican. Yeah, do you see what I was wondering when I saw this is if it's really the data is really good or not good, right? Because maybe this data, it's really more from the U.S. Yeah, and maybe they had a very big uh, difficulties to get this data right from other countries. Like, who knows when they got this data? Uh, like, I'm trying to quite, let me see here. You see, it doesn't say. Um, like where the data came from? Yeah, no, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I know that in Spain, I've been in Spain once. Uh, it's rare to see uh, food from other countries, you know, but I don't know about the other uh, countries. Like Brazil, let's look at Brazil. This is very interesting. So 72% of Brazil, it's a, a food from other countries. Wow. And it seems to be Italian. Oh, that's interesting. Italian is even higher than Brazilian food. That's very interesting. Japanese, French, Chinese, Aramean, but the Italian, that maybe means that there's a lot of Italians in Brazil. I have no idea. That's incredible. It's incredible. It is really incredible. And you see, it turns out Brazil, it says high diversity level in Brazil. Um, you can see that and it shows you all of that. And with this, this is Brazil. And shows you uh, the other countries. Yeah. Okay? So here, Australia. Uh, what is this? Spain. It, France. It, is, it is interesting that Italian is, is higher. Well, I guess it's like that in the US. Like the Mexican food is, is higher than American. It's bizarre. That's it's what still people... pretty. It's still mm -hmm. pretty neat here. I like this. Yeah, and then let's see UK and see what are they like. Seems to be Indian. Well, that's even more crazy. More diff, more weird. This is even more surprising to me. Indian food. Is there that many people from India in the UK? I didn't even know that. Wow. Yeah, must be impressive so look at that the second most diverse country in the data but it appears to be english like indian cuisine more than their fish and chips <laughs> that's so funny so funny and then canada i don't know let's see canada the last one chinese how is that even possible Chinese. Wow. Impressive. I'm very, very interesting. The only thing that I don't quite get is the slider at the top, in the top left. Which one slider? Oh, this one. That's yeah. What is this? Slider. So each of those numbers are for each country. Mm. And then the, if you go to the far right, the number 13, I think that's all or everybody. Oh, I see. So it's sorted alphabetically, but I mean, it's easier to comprehend what's going on by clicking on those bars and on the map, not messing with yeah. the slider. You know what? Do you know what? I think it's a little weird. Uh, it's like, I don't like how this, for example, I will never do this in this way. You know how we'll all do it? Highest diversity goes first. If it's the U.S., then let's use, let's do the U.S. for the first one. I think that if you know what I mean, like whoever is the highest diversity should go first, right? And then just do it that way. Like, okay, let me let me take this out for to give you an idea. I'm gonna okay, let me reset it. Yeah, that's another problem is I can't do I can't the only way to reset it is to hit that button. Okay, so for example, why is it that the for example, you uh Australia is not right here on Germany, just and then look, after that Yeah, uh, look at the look at the way it's sorted. There there doesn't seem to be any logic. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, like, in, honestly, the highest should be, okay, Canada, and then UK, and the next one should be US, 81, and then 83, no, 80, uh, 83, sorry, 83, 81, and then 72. So, I will just sort this the same way as the bars, and then the last one should be Turkey. And then, what is the next one? Mexico and Italy. Italy. Yeah. yeah, something like that. I think it will look better. 
Yeah, that would be good, or at least have some reference of of how it's sorted or why it's sorted that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is interesting. So James is saying, you know, some of this could be that some of these countries are former colonies of other countries. So maybe that's what they have still have that, you know, um, maybe they, they, they still like this food from this country because maybe it was, a you know, that, that makes sense. We're going to have to go back to history to understand. And yeah, that's true. When he went through this uh, in the conference, he was going through it and giving kind of like a story, which was great. Seems like also there's maybe no data for the other countries, right? Maybe there was no data for other countries. So maybe this was the only countries that he used. But it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So do you have any other? Yeah, I got a couple. I got uh, two more. Oh, let me show you. Wait, let me stop. Stop screen. That was nice. All right, before I share my screen, I got to change one thing in my background. All right. Come on. Hmm. Mega millions. Does it does it show on your end? Yeah, Mega Millions. So anybody, you know, if you have not don't know, James, go ahead and don't forget to play today. Uh there is a one billion in the Mega Millions. So we better off uh going and play. Everybody go and play. If we don't see James next week here, he's he he won. James, or if you don't see me or you don't see Aaron. And peace, we won. Peace out. <laughs> Whoever is not here next week, is, we, we won the lottery. I mean, that would All be right. nice. Emil, can you see my screen right now? Yeah, I see you have Mega Million, Jack. Okay, close it's to just one it's just spinning on my end, so I can't see anything. So I'll just keep going. So yeah, uh, Mega Millions is a billion dollars. So get get those tickets. So I went to look for like lottery dashboards, and I found a Central Florida one. Emil, wow. It's, it's not great and it's a little hard to follow, but uh, they've colored each point by the county. Um, I would not use the satellite view because it's a little hard to see anything. But when you hover on a spot, you can see the address and location, the uh, number of tickets sold, total prizes. So 40 million from. I don't, oh, know, if wow. that's, I don't know if that's like the zip code or. That's actual address because I can't imagine that there, were, there were that many. But I mean, it's it's prizes are six hundred or more, so I, I guess that's that's probably possible. Yeah. Um, but I I downloaded this workbook and I was like playing with it. I'm like I'm trying to do different things with it, and like it was interesting just to to mess around with that to see like which zip code had the most, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the highest number of uh, winning tickets. So Winner, like, you know, winning tickets. Yeah, it's it's this area somewhere. I don't have the dashboard anymore, but it's somewhere somewhere here. And I, again, I don't really know where this even is because of the the map mm -hmm. overlay. Anyway, so I came across uh, this one. Just refresh it once. Sharing the link to it. I remember there was one. I'm looking for it. Um, this one was. This is the Powerball. This, uh -huh. this is the Powerball. It's not. It's not quite the same thing. It's close. And this was last updated six years ago, so it's a little outdated. But what I, what I wanted to highlight was, you know, they've got these like annotation points here, kind of mm -hmm. spells out what's going on here, and you can see the winning numbers, the amount. Mm -hmm. But if you look at this one, mm -hmm. this was one and a half billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So remember, we, you, you and I were talking about that, like it's a once a decade thing. Well, apparently it's every six years does it get over a billion dollars. That is crazy. That is insane. So I'm going to put in the chat and, and don't, let's keep talking. Let's, let's talk about this one. I really like this one. And after that, we're going to talk about we can look at the one from Ryan Sleeper have one of the frequency of winning the Powerball. But let's look at this one first. Okay, so tell me what is that, those green kind of like things that are, 
or there, uh, they're there. And, yeah, these. Yeah, yes. So let's see, in the year 2015, the number 30 was selected as a winning number 10 times. Mm -hmm. So let's see, it's probably this. So yeah, so the, the, the deeper the color, the more often that number uh, was drawn as the winning okay. number. So each circle is, is uh, one through however many numbers they go through. Okay. And it just shows you like which number was the most. I, I had found another one that was kind of like that. It showed you the most popular winning uh, uh, the red red ball number. Mm -hmm. uh, but didn't grab that because I kind of like this this likeliness versus winning the Powerball. Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand how to read it. I'm not sure if that means, you know, I, I would die in a in a plane crash forty thousand times before mm -hmm. I would win. Is that is that? So yeah, I, I think what it means is the probability you will have more probability to die than to in that plane crash than winning the than winning the lottery maybe. Right. The so, so I I could be attacked by I could, I could be drafted as an NBA player forty three times. There you go. Yeah. Before I'd win the Powerball. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the odds are like zero, pretty much. <laughs> What is the number one? What is the number one? It's so funny. What is the number one there? The, the number one bar? Oh, this one is uh, die as a pedestrian. Okay. That's so funny. And then I guess here it's got all the numbers mm -hmm. up to 42 and then how popular there are. So again, if you're, if you're trying to look for any advantage in picking your numbers, chances are you don't want 40, 41 or 42 because those okay. are the least picked in this data set. Okay, gotcha. Why that is is you know, it's all random. Yeah, this is uh, really cool. <laughs> that is true, Dan. He said only zero odds if you don't buy a ticket. <laughs> no, I'm I'm definitely then I'm I'm actually that's what I'm gonna do like in an hour. I'm going I'm going to public supermarket and I'm gonna spend twenty dollars. I already have my twenty dollars here. So I'm going to go there and I'm not going to select anything. I'm just going to say whatever automatic and give it to me. Yeah. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do one by one. I don't, I don't have time for that. So, but I'm going to pay, I'm going to buy me $20 and try at least. It's, it's so random oh. picking those individual numbers is, I don't know how anybody does that. It's so difficult. Yeah. This is uh, really cool because, you know, it's just part of what's going on today. And there's a lot of people talking about this online and, and buying. And I mean, it's just incredible. It went to 1 billion, right? Uh, just today, because yesterday was 860, I think. And but nobody, nobody, nobody. There was no winner. So today it hit, finally hit the 1 billion. So if nobody wins it, maybe it will, we'll be getting up yeah. this range. Yeah. It can keep going up for sure. It can keep going up for sure. You know, that's definitely something that could happen. <sighs> Well, that's all I had, Emil. Did you want? To, did you have something you wanted to show? So open, open that one that I put there, the uh, one from Ryan Sleeper. This is a very classic one that it's really related to the same thing. To the, uh, um, yeah, same thing. It's it's that one. Yeah, this one, yeah, be, I, yeah, yeah. I I had that one uh, and yeah, I chose not this to use one? it. Yeah. So yeah. This is a very nice one. What I like about it is even okay. I know this is. I know that this is Powerball, but it still is like a really good dashboard. This could even be a dashboard, right? For so well done. I mean, he did this. I mean, I think he did this back in my goodness in 2017. So it still is a really good uh, dashboard. You can see, you know, the way that he put together the all of those uh, bars, um, and you are highlighting just certain things on the bar. You know, he was in, and then the the tooltip. It's excellent. I mean, you can see the tooltips excellent. The colors, uh, just the font. Every, I mean, it's just it's just very good. Uh, Ball thirty seven no longer exists. Mm -hmm. That's weird. So I really like you know like uh, how he's highlighting things like top five number, top power ball. You see, it's just so well done. I mean, in regards to like trying to bring those insights. I mean, it's just so, it's just great. I mean, it, it's just so good. The titles, the position of everything, the big numbers on top, right? Um, it's just really good. So what he's saying is I, we should play these numbers. 
Exactly. These, these are the most likely the most, to win, are these numbers. Exactly. Those are the most likely to win. Um, uh, I think the 20. Oh, okay. So 20, both num number 37 no longer exists in the power for Powerball format. But 20 is now the second one. I, I imagine that's what it means, right? Yeah. The second one that now it still exists. Yes. Again, these, these low numbers. It hardly ever gets picked. Or, I'm sorry, these high these high numbers. These high numbers. Yeah, so don't 40, play those 40, 41, and 42, yeah. And I just like the way that, you know, he put together the, uh, I don't know, it's just so easy to understand, and uh, it's just great. And you see these bars like this, they're not mm, something that it's done all the time, right? When they're like, I think it's the, the, the way that you put it in Tableau is like fixed, right? fix i think there's you go to like size i'm not sure if it's in size i think it's in size and you do like fix yeah where and they're the like next, will be next is that right other. yeah that's right together yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so and that is a very good idea i mean to do that it, it looks great it just looks great yeah that was my second one what, what else do you like do you like in oh what about the methodology where he put the methodology so you just hover on it, okay? Yep, just a couple, a couple of sentences about okay. the data. It's a very good one. I like it a oh, lot. There, he's got the source. You can click it. Let's see if, let's see if it goes to it. Oh, perfect. Oh, not anymore, but okay. Either way, they used to have that probably on. Uh... Oh, this powerball dot com. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they maybe they still have it, but it's just a different site. Yeah. Dot net versus dot com. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all for me. You have it. You have no, nothing else. That's it. Well, that's it. I mean, we're getting er early today. Thank you, everyone, for another episode. Um, we are gonna uh, starting in June, August. We're gonna probably start doing this once a month. We're not sure yet. Uh, we have, uh, unfortunately, we have uh, other priorities and at work right now where we have, uh, we're providing some training and doing other things where it's hard to do it at 3 p.m. Because, for example, yesterday I was doing training at all day. So we're, we're going to try to figure out a way we can do it once a month. But it may be better because then we can have more speakers and we can concentrate on, on very different topics. And we can uh, also gonna announce it with a lot of time, a lot of marketing that we're gonna put on on it. Uh, but we're not sure about the schedule right now. Uh, but it's gonna probably be once a month. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Because we, Emil, uh, this today, today is the fifty second week straight that we've had mm -hmm. a show. Yeah. So one one year anniversary today. But we haven't done. We've had a couple of replays because we've had other priorities. But uh, after we get all 52 unique episodes we'll make sure we celebrate for that exactly exactly we're, we're gonna have uh whenever we we're gonna need to have 52 weeks uh of episodes you know live episodes then we will have a big celebration and figure that out soon we'll but, have to find some kind of giveaway to anybody that's that's joining us oh yeah for sure we have to bring uh jeff baker again you know he was with us the first time yeah so hopefully we can bring jeff and chris and james and uh, you know, we will, we will work on through that. We will, we, will, we need to that to do that soon. All right. Yeah. Anyway, have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you for being here. And I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye. -bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.